In this video, I'll give you a quick overview of FSOF's enhanced APIs and how you can easily add document intelligence to any Nintex workflow. If you aren't familiar with FSOFT, we focus on solving a key problem, the chaos that is unstructured data in documents. Through our advanced technology, we turn that chaos into structured order and make it actionable information. To go a bit deeper, we expose four key elements of content value. We make documents searchable, we classify them by document type, we extract core document metadata, and through all of these, we allow deep correlation of documents and their associated data. So how do we work with Nintex? Through the use of a Nintex extension, you can easily, without code, design robust document-aware workflows. Simply put, pass FSOF to document during a process, and we return structured, actionable data that can enhance your processes improve automation through intelligence, and allow automated decision-making. With a document-aware workflow, you can provide incremental automation for all your document-centric processes. Document intelligence will eliminate manual data entry, provide key data for smart branching and complex logic, allow you to auto-name documents and folders with the key information and provide data to your systems of record and repositories. I'll illustrate all of this through a quick demo I constructed to illustrate a joint solution using Nintex and FSOF to automate a new account customer onboarding process. I'll show you the power of document intelligence and how we support smart decisions with smart data. In our web services response, we provide classification of document type. That classification will allow the workflow to handle types differently. Document metadata from the response can now be leveraged to make in-process decisions on how to route the document. Through advanced use of FSOFT, we will detect whether a document is signed and create a branch to handle missing signatures. Finally, FSOF provides confidence levels for all its data. We can make decisions based on data quality and provide review capability. So let's see how it all comes together. So in the demo, I've prepared some sample documents. And you can see that we've got uh, a new account opening form. We've got an account cancellation form a proof of address in the form of a driver's license, email, and then some tax forms, a W-8, a W-9, and one that's pretty poor quality. So to kick off the demo, I'm going to go ahead and uh, upload those files for processing. So note, you could use any ingestion method you want uh, from a Nintex perspective. I used Box because I have an account uh, ready and able to uh, ready and set to go. So let me go ahead and uh, and upload these documents. And that'll kick off the process. So you can see I've got a hot folder and then I've also got a box folder for output which will be the uh, the end result of all the workflows. So while those are getting uploaded and, and uh, starting in the process Let's go ahead and take a peek at the Nintex workflow that I've built. So you can see here we start with a new file that's created in Box, and then we're going to pass each of those files to an OCR classify extract um, web service that sits either on the cl FSOFT's cloud or in an on-premise instance of FSOFT Transact. Once we grab that, we're going to go ahead and extract from the response the document type, we're going to get the doc type confidence. And then we're going to take a step and we're going to branch by value. So once again, the classification can be used to branch. So if it's an application, a W9, we can have different ways to handle those different types of documents. So the first example I'm going to show you, I'm actually going to get an email. And in this particular application process, management wants to know when high net worth individuals um, apply. So we're going to actually, as the account application gets uploaded, we're going to collect all the account data. 
we're going to extract the net worth from the document, the name, the social, the date of birth. And then we've actually got a process that is going to branch based on the value of that net worth that we extracted from the document. So in this example, anybody over 750K, we're actually going to send a notification email um, so management can be notified, uh, like I said, when there's uh, an application that meets certain criteria. So we've started to receive some emails based on the different workflow branches and conditions that we've set. And uh, for that first one that we just discussed, you can see here, I've built an email that was auto-populated with the name, the date of birth, and the net worth that was extracted from the document. And remember, we set criteria that anyone over 750K, we want to notify management with that email, okay? So that's the first example of using that document intelligence uh, to make your workflows smarter. Let's go ahead and shrink these down and let's look at uh, another process that we've got built here. And in this particular one, uh, for a W-9, we're going to do a low confidence check. Remember, when Ethisoft gives us that response after it's processed a document, it's going to say, hey, this is how sure I am that this is what the document is or this is what, uh, uh, or I'm confident in the data that I've extracted. So in this example, we've set up a, uh, a condition based on checking the document con confidence. So anytime that confidence is lower than 50, we want to go ahead and route it to a user. And we've actually created a, a, a task that will actually notify the user based on poor quality document so they can manually enter that information. So let's go to our email and let's come in here and you can see that I received an email based on that task that says, hey, please review this and complete exceptions processing. This document is really poor quality. So if you take a peek, you can see that I, uh, I, I put a copy of a copy of a really poor um, document into the system. All right. So now with Nintex, I can click through and it's going to open up a Nintex form and I can manually enter that document data rather than uh, you know having errors go through the system. So we'll go in here and we'll enter uh, information off that document. We'll say, yeah, it's signed. We'll approve it and we'll submit it. Okay, so once again, using that document data and that intelligence, we've uh, further automated and caught errors before they get into the uh, later on in the process. All right, so that's the second example. The final example we're going to look at is with signature detection. So in this example, we've got a W-8 tax form that comes into the system. We're going to go ahead and collect the information. FSOF's been configured to detect whether a signature exists on the document. And then once again, we've got a task or a process that's going to look at whether the document's signed or not. If it, if it isn't, we're going to assign a task and have that customer end user upload a signed copy of the document. Okay, once again, fully automated. Somebody doesn't have to manually go through this process of getting that signed document. Uh, backing up. So just like we did with the other processes, we used email to kick it off. So you can see in this example, I sent an email and I said, uh, hey, the W-8, notice this is a token from the FSOF services. In your new account, paperwork is missing a signature. Please resubmit. So now the end user can come to a Nintex form. They can go ahead and select uh, a new sign W8, submit the sign form, and we're off to the races. Okay. Now there's an email that gets sent out when this is done that says, thank you for submitting the signed copy. So all those different branching items that you've seen and all that conditional logic within this workflow was document driven and made the, the workflow smarter. Now the end result, if I come back to box, you can see I've got an onboarding out folder, and I've actually, uh, with the documents I've processed, I've custom named them. In some cases, just simply with the document type. In others, we added extracted data 
to create a custom naming scheme. You can see that we added the, the name here for the W9 and the account application. So this is just a taste of the types of things that you can do with FSOFT and add that document intelligence to uh, any workflow platform. If you have any questions, go to www.fsoft.com and shoot us a note. Thanks.